Hello and welcome to this edition of SAC News. I am Aaron Hernandez. And I am Lucero Garcia. On this edition of SAC News, a brand new graduation ceremony. And a showcase of guitar talent. But first, SAC hosted its employment summit last week, and as reporters Ende Garrido found out, degrees offer opportunities. The Labor and Workforce Development Agency estimates 490,000 students will graduate college this year. Orange County employers are already waiting for them. Santana College held its first employment summit since the pandemic. Tesla, Nonsver Farm, along with the Santana Police Department and others, visited the summit with hopes of hiring their next set of employees. We are here from Knott's Berry Farm. We are looking for the next great associates for the friendliest place in the West. We have 101 years of history. We have loads of opportunities there at the park. We are hiring right now for ride operators, merchandise, associates, foods, uh, lifeguards for Soak City, that's across the street from us. We want folks that are homegrown just like ourselves. According to the Labor and Workforce Development Agency, California has nearly 120,000 police officers on the job. But there is space for more, according to a police officer from Santana. So we're excited to be here um, recruiting potential police officers, dispatchers, and correctional officers um, that are interested in public service. We're just eager to kind of provide information on what our de police department has to offer. I mean, you don't know until you try. Santana College's graduation ceremonies in June. There are plenty of students who will be receiving their associate's degrees or certificates, and they will be ready to head into the workforce. We've invited 45 um, employers from the community to come out this morning, as you can see. It's, it's our campus community coming together to support our students in terms of looking at these employment opportunities. Coming out of the pandemic, our students are in need of employment as well. So the fact that we're able to connect them with employers, um, the, the idea that they're able to look at networking. Uh, looking around, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. The design was well organized. Um, we had the show, so most of our employers showed up. And, and as you can look around here, we have students. Many companies said they are thrilled to recruit employees from the pool of potential workforce coming from Santana College. From Santana College, Senda Garrido, SAG News. Thank you for that, Zendai. In other news, SAC has a special pre-graduation celebration coming up to commemorate its LGBTQ plus students. This first ever lavender ceremony is being held on May 24th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. in room 219 at the Johnson Center. The ceremony is being hosted by SAC's very own Gender Sexuality Alliance Club. Some of the events to look forward to include a dinner, performances from, from drag queens, and a special graduation procession. Follow the RSVP link below to sign up for the celebration. SAC's Fine and Performing Arts Department will be presenting a guitar concert. The guitar ensemble will be performing music from films such as Star Wars, Pirates of the Caribbean, and more. The concert will take place on Saturday, May 20th at 7.30 at Phillips Hall. General admission will be $10, however, students and staff admission will be $5. To purchase tickets for the concert, head over to the SAC's Ticket Leap Portal. When we return, city activities for the entire family. Plus, engaging events happening as part of Mental Health Awareness Month. My name is Kevin. I'm a military veteran returning to school, and I'm a student at Santa Ana College. I went to an art school in Los Angeles for two years. I realized things were getting pricey and expensive. Um, you know, I was tired of hearing my parents talk about the financial issues we have. Um, at the same time, I also had a desire ever since I was a little kid to join the military. So I enlisted in the United States Air Force for four and a half years. And uh, immediately, at the same time I got out of the military, I got hired at Disney. I chose online classes because I'm able to have time management with my priorities outside of school and also with the school. I'm able to control my life. My advice, for a student thinking about taking online classes is you got to be on top of your game. You have to make sure you have time to do your online classes. It might be easy to forget that you have homework due and quizzes to take. So you just definitely got to be on top of it. I would say online classes are just the same type of difficulty as face-to-face -face class. Do the coursework, read the chapters, take the quiz, um, you still have deadlines just like actual classes. It's been a year and 
um, I'm able to speed up the process where I'm going to be getting my associate's degree this December and will be transferring for spring. So online classes definitely helps me um, reach my end goal faster. Welcome back. In City News, as part of City of Santa Ana's $3.5 million urban greening project, a new community park is set to be built on a vacant lot. Located on Bristol and Tolliver, the park will include several amenities, including a skate park, fitness equipment, and a half basketball court. Designs are expected to be ready later this year, with construction set to begin in 2024 for the park to be unveiled in 2025. The Santa Ana Zoo is celebrating Endangered Species Day. There will be a number of special activities to shine a light on animals that are at risk of going extinct. The zoo's Endangered Species Day will be May 21st and will run from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. General admission is free for residents of Santa Ana. Visit the zoo's website for more information. Santa Ana Public Works Agency is hosting a cycling event in honor of National Bike Month. The agency invites everyone to come by and participate in a group bike ride throughout the streets of Santa Ana. Free lunch, helmet, and bike lights will be also provided until supplies last. And for those who don't have a bike, they can have, a re they can have it reserved by filling out the registration form. The event will take place on Saturday, May 19th from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Visit the city's website to look about more details and how to fill out the registration form. But if you can't make the cyclade event, the Public Works Agency is also holding another event on May 20th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Walnut Water Pump Station. The station is located directly in front of Santa Ana High School. The first 500 guests will receive free tacos. Prizes and tours of the state-of-the-art water pump station will also be available on a first-come, first-served basis. Various groups from Santa Ana High School will also provide entertainment. Admission is free for the entire family. For more information, check out the city's event website. Be an ally for LGBTQ youths. The LGBTQ Youth Center in OC is having a youth convening, a one-day conference organized and led by youth leaders. This group of LGBTQ student leaders and allies are devoted to several social injustice issues around, social, or, around Orange County. The theme of this year is Be Visible, Be You. This conference invites people of all ages and backgrounds to create, provide safe spaces, and unite LGBTQ youths from all of OC. This event will take place on May 20th at Seckerstrom High School. For those looking to de-stress in a pressure-free environment, the Santa Ana Library will be offering several meditative classes for Mental Health Awareness Month. Attendees will have the chance to express themselves in art forms such as drawing their emotions and making crafts, as well as receive meditative accessories. The class will take place on Friday, May 27th from noon to 1 p.m. Contact the number below for more information and to learn about other classes being held during Mental Health Awareness Month. And finally, the New Hope Library will be hosting the acclaimed author of Autumn Cloud, Jackie Bong Wright. On May 27th, she'll tell the story about her family during the Vietnam War, her husband's, her husband's assassination, and her journey from being a Vietnamese refugee to American activist. The event will run from 2 to 3 p.m. For more information, call the library using the number below. That does it for this edition of SAC News. Be sure to follow us on social media and watch previous episode of SAC News on our YouTube channel.